I'm Rachel. And I'm Tim. And this is our eight-year-old Jack Russell mix, Tika. And she had surgery about seven. Mm, seven years ago for a broken knee. She was a stray in Kentucky, and they flew her up here into Border Collie Rescue, and um, they ended up not being able to put the knee back in place, so they had to amputate. And by that time, we had fallen in love with her, and so that led us to seven years later looking for a prosthetic device for her even though she's not having any trouble walking or running or moving fast or anything they've made such good um, improvements with prosthetics we watched a show called wizard of paws and they use 3d printing now which really intrigued us so that led us to looking for a prosthetic device for tika Yes, and once we got the information in the package, it was pretty uh, pretty easy to do. What we did was they sent us all the stuff we needed to make a cast of Tika's chest so that they could make a 3D prosthetic for Tika. And we followed the instructions. We took her to a park so that we wouldn't have any disturbances with our other dogs. And we wrapped her up and let her sit for we had to let her sit for five minutes and then we sliced it off and mailed it in and about six weeks later we received the Tika's prosthetic which is right here at first it was not a wheel it was just a stump with a pad on the bottom and Tika didn't really go for that as much so later in the process we discovered we could get a wheel so we we had them send us a wheel and again she's been seven years without it so it was pretty hard to convince her that she needed it or wanted it but with a lot of high value treats and taking her to a park or an, any kind of park to walk that has a trail, some place where she could chase squirrels or whatever. She really, really started to like it and she really caught on to it. And now today she really does enjoy it and she goes up to about a mile walking so far. And has no effects from walking that mile. She comes home and rests for a little bit and then just loves um, just moving around in, in her own backyard. We only have the prosthetic device for her when she's on walks. Um, don't really have a need for it in the house. But, um, but I have to say, it was really important when we made the mold for the prosthesis to have um, three other sets of hands um, to keep with still. Tim <laughs> to keep Tika still. Um, before that, we even used like a sweater on Tika so she got the feeling of having something tight on her body. So we did that a couple times before we actually made the mold. So um, that made it much easier um, and she was really motivated to be quiet and, um, and it worked and we are just we are over the moon happy because we knew, okay, maybe this will work, maybe, maybe this won't, won't work. <laughs> but um, with lots of perseverance, um, lots of videos sent in to dive designs that they critiqued and Adjust, um, adjusted. we adjusted the prosthetic with their, per their advice. Um, it helped because Tim was a quality control man from, from his previous job. So um, I just think if you persevere and you just um, just have a positive attitude and use high value treats, I think those are the most important things. So thank you to Dive Designs for um, yes, thank you very making much. this so successful for us.